Welcome to Scale Model Basics. I'm Aaron Skinner, and this time we're going to be looking at applying decals. And we're not going to go through all of the troubleshooting that you can run into with problems. This is just about the basics of applying decals. We'll start with what you're going to need to apply those. Not including your model and your decals, you're going to need some warm water. Don't get it too hot. You need basically warm water, some paper towels, some brushes to apply water or setting solutions. We'll get to those later. Tweezers to pick up the decals and, and move the paper around. Cotton swabs to both blot the decals when they're on the surface and to maneuver them on the surface. Toothpicks can be useful for that also. Scissors to trim the decals from the paper. Now buy a dedicated pair of fine sharp scissors for this. Don't use them for anything else because if you dull those blades, it's going to tear the decal paper and risk damaging the decals. A hobby knife can be useful, especially if you need to trim out clear film. The decals I'm using are printed by Cartograph and are very clean, so there's not a lot of that that I need to do here, but I thought I'd bring them to show you. And then finally, setting solutions. Now there are different kinds of setting solutions that come with basically different strengths. I recommend starting with the Microscale system, Microset and Microsol. This is a two-part system, which many of them are. One you apply before the decal and one after. We'll show that later. But there are stronger ones like the GSI Creos, Mr. Mark Setter, and Mr. Mark Softer, also a two-part system. And then when you absolutely positively have to get a decal to conform to surface detail, there's always Walther's Solvaset. Now you don't want to use this as the first option. This is a last resort because like the cartograph decals I'm using on this Airfix kit are delicate and this stuff will eat them for breakfast. And what you don't want at this stage in a build is for your decals to get ruined by using the wrong setting solution. So let's talk about how we apply decals. So the first thing you're going to do is take your scissors and trim out the decal that you want. And I've left myself some extra paper to hold onto with the tweezers. And then dip it into the water. It does not need to be in the water long, just a few seconds. Then place it on a paper towel. The adhesive is going to activate while that water soaks through the paper. So while that is doing that, I'm going to take the microset, the first part of the solution, and apply it to the area the decal is going to go. This will help to make the decal stick better. It breaks the surface tension on the water a little bit too. Brush it on liberally. And put the lid back on because these bottles spill really easily. And then you can check to see if the decal is ready by, yep, if it moves freely with a cotton swab, you're ready to go. So then place it where it needs to be on the model and then holding it with the cotton swab, gently pull the paper out from under it. And with any luck, you get it right the first time, which in a rare circumstance I have just done. <laughs> if you need to move it around, you can do it with the cotton swab. I don't recommend using your finger because the decals will sometimes stick to your finger better and there's nothing like pulling a decal up. And then you can roll it out with the cotton swab starting at the center and just roll outwards. The idea here is you want to remove the excess fluid from underneath the decal so it sticks better. And while you're at it, you can press it into, try not to move it again. Give it some pressure over those surface details. And then once you're satisfied with where it's at and you, that you've gotten all of the excess water and setting solution out from underneath, then you can take the Microsol now this will actually soften the decal film and allow it to settle into the surface detail. You don't really want to brush this on, you want to dab it on because you don't want to risk moving it. Now the setting solutions, like I said, are going to soften and 
make that decal more flexible. What's gonna happen, what you're gonna see, and why, it's, why you're gonna be tempted to wanna touch that decal is it will start to wrinkle a little bit. You can sort of see that happening on this area here, on this roundel. Do not touch that. You, you, you're gonna think, oh, I can smooth that out. What you're more likely to do is pull and distort that decal. So just leave it alone, let the setting solution do its thing. It won't take long to dry. And when you come back, chances are you're gonna have a decal that looks just like a painted marking. So sometimes decals need to go in odd places or on they're long and skinny or they're just more difficult to handle. But you basically follow the same process that you did earlier. So I'm gonna dip this long marking that goes on the boom of the vampire. Following the same process we did earlier, I've already dipped the decal. And we'll apply some setting solution. So now I'm gonna take up, pick up the decal, make sure that it's ready to apply. Yep, all right, and then Part of the thing is finding the right angle to apply these at too. Come on. I'm using a, what's actually called a locomotive cradle, something our friends in the model railroading community use. And uh, you can pick one of these up at the Combat Hobby Store if you want. It's great for holding aircraft and armor at odd angles. Now if your decal does stick too quickly, one of the things you can do is take a brush, dip it in the water, and just work water up under the edge of it and refloat it. And just work that into position. And then, same thing as before, roll it out. Be careful you're not moving it too much while you're doing it. And that's pretty much it. So after blotting out the excess water, I'm pretty happy with how that looks on the boom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some Microsol, get it to settle into the panel lines on there. Again, just kind of dab it on, don't brush. And then you can leave it alone. It's only been about 20 minutes since I applied the Microsol to this roundel but you can see that it's already basically evaporated and that decal has settled into the surface detail molded on that wing, the access hatches and the panel lines and so forth. So it really does look like it's been painted on, not applied as a decal. That's what you're aiming for with this process. You want those markings to look painted, not applied as stickers. So that's the basic process for applying decals. Now personally, I love applying decals. For me, it's that moment when the plastic kit I've been working on starts to resemble its full-size counterpart. Decals can be challenging, but hopefully these tips will get you started on the right path to applying better decals on your next project. Thanks for watching, I'm Aaron Skinner. We'll see you next time.